Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back uh, to Southwest uh, 5295, the flight service to New Orleans. We have left the gate, we've been cleared by ATC, and we're taxiing the uh, taxiway Gulf, uh, Gulf all the way down to runway 35 left. Um, just going through one or two of my charts while I maneuver. Uh, this is definitely not the right way you should do this. You should do this at a stop and not while you're moving. Uh, but just for the sake of time, and uh, I'll, I'll just kind of do it quickly. Uh, okay, so we're doing the Orlando 4 departure. We're departing off of runway 35 left. Climb on heading as a sign for vector to file the sign route. Uh, cross. 2.0 um, nautical miles south of the Orlando VR at or about 2300. Sure, that shouldn't be a problem. Um, cross Orlando 115 radio at or about 2600. Cross Orlando 090 radio or 270 radio at or about 3000. Top altitude is 5000 feet, so we get that set. And uh, yeah. That's it. Now we uh, just gotta go runway heading. It's going to be 005. So we will set our heading to 005. There we go. So we have um, MCP is 138 heading 005. 5000 is set. Now some people will set up the actual ILS approach um, just in the event they have to return. Uh, but I'm not going to do that tonight, but I'm just saying that's something that is done um, on a professional level. Alright, so, uh, okay. Okay, another thing that's very important is on the 737, um, we usually black out the um, uh, your MFD. Um, reason being is if you had a malfunction on the engine, engine fire or failure, um, this screen would automatically pop up. So the engine, en the engine will pop up and it will show you, you know, so obviously if that comes up, you know there's a problem. So it's supposed to be blank before takeoff. Um, if you, ref if you see, uh, if you get a hand on an airline checklist, you'll actually see that's actually in there. Alright, so uh, that's why we have that blank. All right, all right, and uh, like I said, everything else, I think we're good to go. We got our got our, our map over here. We're taxiway golf. That's really cool. Um, excellent reasons why to buy the uh, NGXU by PMDG. It's, just, it's so amazing. These with these guys, the work that these guys do is, uh, is outstanding. I like to tattoo my eyes light on. I'm not 100% on the center line. Come on, what are you doing? So, how long have you been using flight simulators? Are you new to flight simulator? Um, by any means, comment below. Um, like I've been mentioning um, in the video thus far, is uh, I am a professional pilot, but I'm an amateur videographer. So uh, this is the very first video of me um, just trying to show you kind of what I know um, about flying and about the 737. Southwest 5295 after departure, fly heading 340, runway 35 left, clear for takeoff. Okay, 35 left, clear for takeoff. Uh, fly heading 340 after departure, Southwest uh, 5295. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, Southwest 5295, Jackson. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong switch. Um, yeah, fly for takeoff, runway 35 left after departure. Fly heading 340 for Southwest 20. Sorry, 5295. Okay guys, we're, we're on the taxiway, but um, we have already gotten clearance to take off. So what we're going to do is, we're going to hit the strobes on for now. Um, 
will turn on the, the rest of the lights once we enter the runway. So what we like to do is we always like to look right, even though ATC says you're clear for takeoff. We look right, we check the TCAS, there's nothing on there, it's clear. We look left, there is no one out there. So we always say clear high and low, we taxi into position. All right, we get all those lights on now. Uh, some people prefer to take off a touch light on. I do until I get airborne. Okay, here we go. So now we are going to set 40%. So we're going to set 40% and 1, right? After that, the call is stabilize, which it kind of is. We hit toga and thrust is set. Should have hit the clock button. Now, if it's glitching on your screen a little bit, um, it's my dynamic lighting. So I apologize for that, but it should smooth out. There we go. All right, there we go. Uh, 80 knots, miss that. All right, here we go. V1, V1. rotate. V2. All right, positive rate, gear up. So we were asked to turn to heading 340. So I'm going to hit heading select. I'm going to select 340. I'm going to continue to climb in the flight director. I can hit VNAV now too, so that I can control my speed. Southwest 5295, okay. radar contact, climb and maintain, flight level 380, say altitude. Climb and maintain, flight level 380, climbing out of 3,500 at this time, Southwest uh, 5295. Roger that, climb and maintain, flight level 380, uh, we're out of 3,800 and uh, climbing to flight level 380. Right, Delta 660, Luton Mayor Space to the north, Atlanta right, offline, and our service is terminated. Change of advisor frequency is approved. Good night. We're going to set. See you later. Southwest 5295, turn left heading 250. Turn left heading 250, Southwest 5295. Believe at 813, Atlanta Center offline, Luton Mayor Space to the north, radar service is terminated. Change of advisor frequency is approved. Alright, so after takeoff, we're going to go um, uh, auto break off. Uh, actually, it's not set here. So, still. Yes, I'm close to 125, Roger. I have the radar services terminated. Change of advisor frequency is approved. Good night. Delta 1528, unfortunately, Jack Center is not going to be a standalone line to get you down to Orlando. Orlando landing north. Radar. Southwest 5295, clear, direct, uh, Remis, resume on navigation. 
Roger that, clear the wreck, Remis and ONAV for Southwest 5295. All right. So Southwest 5295, Jackson, our closing radar service is terminated. Change advisor frequency is approved. Good night. Roger that, radar service is terminated. Um, uh, good night, uh, Southwest 5295. Thanks. Control Air Crash Jack Center is now closed, monitoring so Unicom 122.8. When we want to go direct, we start to go to this intersection. So we click this, it drops the scratch pad, and we put it at the very top, wherever the purple indicator is. That will give us a a um, a uh, track, um, but not until we execute it is, does it become official. So we're going to hit execute, and that confirms it. Once we've done that, we select LNAV, and the airplane will go ahead and fly that course. Okay, we're out of 10,000 feet, so 10,000 foot checks. We're going to turn the landing lights off. Uh, and this light switch just should have been off a couple minutes ago. Wing light will turn that off. And we are on our way. Yeah. Alright. Alright guys, so that's it for now. We're going to have a pretty decent headwind, so it's going to take us a while, so I will do another video as I'm coming up to make my approach. Alright, so we'll see you in the next video.